I see one! Alright, intern. We've, so we've found one of the warthogs, and there is one of our itty bitty baby! Look at the little wee baby! Oh my gosh, and the Sifaka that was born, uh, like, oh my goodness, already is grown up and pregnant. Those lemurs! They go so fast! But here is one of our warthogs, intern! So we do indeed have some names for the warthogs, and we're keeping a close eye on them, because I think that they may have preyed on a couple of our little birds. So we need to make sure that's not the case by, you know, like I said, keeping a good eye on them. Here's Warthog number two. She's being sniffed by Warthog number three. And this is actually now Joan. So she's grazing. Oh, look at them. They're so cool. Look at them. So she's busy over here grazing and just minding her own beeswax. And you better mind the bee eaters too. You hear me, Joan? Mind your bees wax and mind the bee eaters and everything will be well. Oh my goodness, I, I just love her tusks. And I lo look at her, the way she digs her little hoof in so that she can get to more of her food. <gasps> that is just so cool, intern. I am loving it. Oh, and Chira is really thirsty. What's going on? Chira, are you okay? Are you stuck? Here you go, Chira. And Sky is giving birth. Oh my goodness. Sky, let me let me get you out of that that cluster of jeeps, and hopefully that'll help. Zora has given birth. We are just not having a moment's rest here. Uh oh, intern, you see what I see? This is what I mean. I am suspicious. I'm really worrying if our warthogs are attacking our little birds. So we're gonna have to keep our eyes peeled and see see what happens because we haven't had any problems. Haven't had any problems, and all of a sudden the warthogs come in. And they might be causing those problems. So they haven't made it any mated pairs among the warthogs yet. But here's our male. He's going to go wallow in the water. This is Justin. So we have Joan and Justin. And then, yeah, we're tagging the warthogs so we can keep an eye on them. The, maybe the bee eaters just aren't doing well. Like, they always seem to struggle being in such a large exhibit. So let's adopt out a few of the ones that can go to a smaller zoo. Shira, are you doing okay, darling? Alright, I think she's doing better. I think she got stuck. And that was her problem. The zebra doikers are giving birth. Of various states of happiness. The finnick foxes. We've got one unhappy female. She's gonna go eat the berries. We'll adopt her out too. Sky has just given birth. Let's see. Let's adopt, we only have one uh, Arabian partridge left, so let's adopt it out so it can go find some some mates at another zoo. Oh my gosh, the lemurs are just breeding like mad. It's amazing, we're gonna need more names for them. And finally, our African spurred tortoises are happy. They just didn't like their heat lamp, it turns out. They would get obsessed with their heat lamp the way the lemurs were getting obsessed with the monkey bars. So by removing them, we seem to have really helped make everyone happy. So we have Joan, Justin, and... Uh, Justice, our, our warthogs, and hopefully they'll do well. Oh, and look at all the kids walking around with our finnick fox hats. I'm so happy. There's quite a line for the food over here, too. Goodness. Oh, and Gila Monster 3 wants to mate, but can't find one. We're going to adopt her out to find a mate another zoo. Zebra Doikers are doing a little bit better. And finally, in turn, we work our way through the list of things that we have to begin the day with, and we are over at the playground. Oh, no, why is there an unhappy kid? Waiting in line. Oh, where'd he go? And Tony vanished. Into thin air. Oh, my goodness. We'll have to keep an eye on that. All right, let's scoot the climbing bars over. That might help things a little bit. But yeah, so we're going to try to attract more people down this way. So that they... Oh, my goodness. The spur tortoises are doing better. The spur tortoises are now pregnant. And the ring lemurs are giving birth. Oh, and I forgot to put the bathrooms in over here. whoops a doops Let's get some restrooms in here. Just like being in a smelly exhibit. I guess we need to hire more zookeepers. There we go. That should take care of it, I hope. There we go. But yeah, let's get down here and let's add a couple couple more restrooms in because it's going to be very important to take care to take care of our, of our guest restroom needs. Ah, they go through the bathroom so quickly. It's very important to have the restrooms always available for them. And then come this way, go a little... In fact, let's swap it out for a desert path. Let's go ahead and stick with the cracked mud for a little while. I actually really like the look of the cracked mud in turn. Oh, Godzilla just died of old age. Aww. 
Well, she laid some eggs before she passed away, so we will make sure that we have Godzilla 2 carry on her mother's legacy. If we have a female left. I really, I thought we'd have Godzilla for a little bit longer, so now I feel kind of bad. Hmm. Zebra doikers, zebra doikers. I'm gonna have to take care of you guys. They don't seem to be that happy. Sometimes it takes a little bit of fiddling in order to make them happy. Alright, Gila Monster 4. Exiting the heat lamp. This is going to be Godzilla the second. There we go. And we'll get her a mate. We'll add a new a new Gila Monster in to get fresh Gila Monster blood in. If we can find it. There we go. Alright, hot desert. Oh, look at the desert monitor. Nice. Um, let's see. Angro Forest. Red Desert. No, that's the kangaroo area. Hmm. Semi arid desert? No. Semi desert? <gasps> A ground roller? Don't mind if I do. Oh my goodness. I would love to add a ground roller. An echidna. Yes. Oh, and that reminds me. We need some of the ginger Greek. There are quite a few new animals that we need to be adding. Galapagos land iguana. Hmm. Hmm. Baldrin's fox. But first I need to find where the heck. Let's see. Our drought bucket. <laughs> this is this is what happens every time that I, I just want to add in one critter one critter But when there's hundreds of critters to pick from in turn It can definitely take a little while to track down that one creature inside of our amazing catalog So let's see All right, we're not gonna do too much of this in turn, but you know what we can do while we're here We can look for the meerkats that we're going to add in So keep an eye peeled for meerkats or gila monsters and there's a fish, there's a cockatoo, and we can get some ideas for other creatures that we can add into our zoos and zones too. The Tasmanian Devil, I'm gonna add that into our island exhibit, that's for sure. I would still love to do an area with dodos. I am a huge fan of dodos. It's a long story in turn. European Eel, Common Eater. Let's see, our Finnick Foxes, good, okay. Girl, we're moving our way in, here's some gazelles. We're getting a little bit closer. Go for tortoise. Jim's brook, which is actually one of the creatures that we need to be adding in soon. And they like a nice hot desert in the southern African region. Jinnook. I wonder if we should have added these guys into... We'll build a secondary safari zone to add those guys in. Because we've got enough with our warthogs and everyone else. Like, you know, like the pygmy hippotamus could use a nice a nice area. Let's see, Arabian horse, which we'll probably add into this zone after debating it. The rock kayaks, oh my gosh, it's so cute. So cute, but it is an alpine creature. It is, it is like an African creature, but it's also an alpine creature, so we'll have to think about that. All right, rusted iguana. There's so many, there's just so many in turn. So many, ooh, kookaburra, I love kookaburras. Wanna add that one in? Oh, I heard our lemurs calling! That's so great! They're, they seem to be doing quite well. Spanish lynx. Chinese crocodile. Camion lizard. You get in here for so long, intern, and you forget why you were, why you came in the first place. You kind of have to just, like back up, slow down. There's a banded mongoose and a water mongoose. The desert monitor. Don't mind if I do- there we go! A Gila monster! Oh, finally! So let's add in a male Gila monster for Godzilla the second. There we go. And wow, we've got a lot of zookeepers running around in here. But yeah, goodness! Well, that really helped us like look over quite a few animals. We might as well just continue through the list to see if we can find where our little meerkats are hiding. There's- ooh, look at that! Cockatoo pond. Mm-hmm, pond cockatoo. Golden pheasant. Where would you want to find a golden pheasant? In China. Man, they're beautiful birds. I can't wait to add that back to our tropical rainforest area. And the platypus! Oh, I love the platypus. That has to go into our island zone for sure. Platypi are some of my favorite critters. There's my Sumatran striped rabbit that I love so much. Let's see. 
another gazelle, more rhinos. We've got quite a few different species of rhinos that we're going to be adding in. Look, Godzilla 2 is pregnant already. Godzilla the second wasted no time. She apparently liked that new mate that we brought her. Let's see, what are you? Don't know what he is. Sea snake, sea snake, sea snake. Seals, more seals, lots of seals in turn. Lots of sharks in turn. Slowly working our way through some more hooked animals. You know what we need? We need some flamingos in here. That's what we need. We need to get ourselves a nice big flock of flamingos. I think maybe the flamingos could share, even though it's not realistic, we'll see if they could share an exhibit with the meerkats when we finally find the meerkats, which we must have gone over them somehow in turn. Oh no! Oh no, why? Why? All right, tropical savanna. Meerkat, meerkat, meerkat. <gasps> oh, ostriches, we need to add ostriches in too. Oh, there's just so much. All right, I'm checking it out. And I don't see the meerkat here. We're not gonna give up. We're gonna go to semi-desert. And there's our meerkat. We found it, yay. Okay, so we're going to build a little, oh, Link just died of old age. Man, we are losing. The, the zebra is a little bit quickly too. But, oh look, and there's more kids over in our playground now. Yay! All right, so hopefully we'll be able to attract a lot more kids by bringing in a meerkat exhibit. So this should be pretty fun. So let's see, where's our meerkats? We're gonna go ahead and grab them and put them to the side just so we have them. But we're going to grab a male, lead male, and then put him in a crate before he runs off on us. Stay. Good. Then we are going to grab, let's see. Let's do two females and one, two males and just we'll see how it evens out. That's not how they normally pair up in family groups in the wild, but we're going to just set our meerkats to the side and then get to work building their exhibit. I'm so excited, oh my goodness. Meerkats are one of my favorite critters. They really truly are. I can't quite explain the passionate fascination and love I have for them, but it's there. It's definitely there. So we need to get a good fence. Let's get the safari fence because it's a good classic fence to put in for this purpose. One, two, three. There we go. Nice big safari fence and we'll make it nice and big because we'll see if we can add in another type of creature with them at some point. We also don't want to make it too far in on the other side. Let's see. Yeah, let's bring it back just a little bit. Because they're they're not that big. They're they we're gonna give them a good size exhibit, but they're not the biggest animals, so alright, and let's pull this in. Alright, let's start with that. Let's let's start here and we can expand it if we need to as we start decorating things for this semi-desert area that we're giving them. We're under the meerkats. Very excited about this. Alright. Add a little bit more over here, a little bit more over there. Let's see. I think they'll be okay with this kind of exhibit. We need to research for a large scrub burrow, but we'll give them a small one too. And some rocks. Let's give them some nice rocks and turn. Ooh, that's a really fancy rock. Look at these fancy rocks. Holy moly. Wow. I would like these kind of rocks in my backyard. Are you kidding? They're really nice looking. All right. Then we'll put another one right here. And then we'll start sprinkling in the burrows kind of over here as well. All right, what kind of trees would you guys like? For your semi desert area. Oh my gosh, I love the baoba. Baoba are one of my favorite trees. The common fig tree is also a choice. Ooh, the weeping myrtle. That looks like it would be a good one. Oh my gosh, and there's more pregnant lemurs. Those lemurs, they're just having so many babies. We're gonna have so many baby lemurs in turn. But lemurs usually live in very large family groups in the wild, so that makes quite a bit of sense. The babies are taken care of by the mother. The mother carries the baby around on her chest in her arms and the baby like holds on to her too for the first couple weeks of life. And then as the baby gets older, 
it, it will often hang on to her back. And after about two months or so, depending on the species of lemur, often it starts eating solid food. So then you try to teach your baby, okay, eat this, eat this. All right, we got lots of different types of trees. Ooh. And meanwhile, it looks like the Gila monsters are making rounds. Put a few of these down. Make a nice varied area. Galapagos cactus, that's so funny. Tree palm. Maybe put a few common figs down. A few more weeping myrtles. Not too much though, because they really like to be able to see where they're going, these little lemurs. All right, we're gonna tuck their little burrow right over here. So there's one burrow. And we're actually gonna tuck another burrow right here. So it's like they have this little rock pile of burrows to hide in. That should make them feel pretty good. In fact, we're gonna put another one right there. So it's like the family burrow because they will actually dig really intricate dens. So we're gonna leave that and hopefully Silver will be okay. We'll check on her in a second. I think when she has a baby to nurse, it distracts her and means that she's really focused on taking care of the baby and not her own needs. But next up, <gasps> it's a termite mound with insects! Yes, indeed! We are going to put that in, and also some roots, because meerkats have a pretty diverse diet. They really love their insects, so we're gonna do like a few little, few little spots with insects. They can just climb out of their burrows, which they meticulously tidy up, by the way, Inter. Always interesting to see. And then over here by the trees, we'll add some more roots that they can come find. That's really cool. All right, and then let's see what we can add in as far as toys. Let's see, scrub rock formations. That would actually be really pretty to have in here. <gasps> a sentry post. Oh, yes, indeed. We're going to have a meerkat sentry post in here. That's for sure. And then, uh, let's see, we'll, we'll sprinkle some toys around too. Just because I think that they would enjoy having some squeak toys. Well, except that squeak toy's like freaking out. There you go. All right, Silver, are you okay? she doing okay? She's so distracted with the needs of her baby. That's the thing. Yeah, she should be okay. She just has to take care of her baby first and then she'll take care of her needs. That's devoted parenting right there. See, all the lemurs look like that. Wait, what are you doing over here? We keep having escaping lemurs. Are they climbing like the trees and getting out? It's just the ringtails, just the ringtail lemurs. So we're gonna have to keep an eye on them. Oh my goodness. Meanwhile, back to our meerkats. Let's see. Getting their sentry post research, termite mound with insects. That's so cool. Gonna get some little plants put down. Maybe another rock or two. Never hurts to have some nice decorative rocks. There we go, nice decorative rock. All right, wait, why are you thirsty? Are you also out of the exhibit? What are you guys doing over here? How? How did they do that? Oh, and Justice is now pregnant. How did you get out? And Godzilla has laid an egg. Oh, that's so exciting. Godzilla the second is laying eggs. Silver's still thirsty. Oh my goodness, intern. <gasps> Gasp for air. Breathe with me. We're okay. We can handle this. There's lots to do, but we're going to take good care of all of our animals. All right. So let's add the termite mounds with insects. That is just too awesome. The scrub rock formation. Let's actually shrink down the water area that we gave them a little bit because they don't need much. They're used to a pretty dry environment. And can we let's put that right there? Very nice, very nice indeed. Whoops. Uh, let's do this, can I do that? Yes, no. No, okay, so now we know what we need to leave. Let's shrink that down a little bit. There, see, it looks like it just sort of flows out of this little pool and down in here. And that gives us enough room to put in the meerkat sentry post right there. And scoot the termite mound with insects. There, that is fantastic. I think that they're gonna enjoy this quite a lot in turn. All right, now remember, we wanna add some plants just to liven things up. And also, this is where they would come to gather uh, all sorts of insects that would be hiding under the plants if this was in the wild. Let's see. Ooh, some beautiful lavender. We'll sprinkle in a little bit of lavender just to kind of freshen the place up, make it nice and pretty. Look at those cool insects. Oh my goodness. Those guys are so neat. All right, who else? Yeah, let's add in 
Just a few patches of dirt, or a few patches of grass, I mean. Just to kind of help break up the look of the grass down here. With some oregano. Don't mind if I add a little oregano sprinkled here and there. This is going to be another very nice smelling exhibit. Ooh, and look at these beautiful flowers. Let's add them along here. Oh, those are gorgeous flowers. We need to start adding those in, like, around the zoo, in fact. I want to add some in, like, right here. I'm going to take these guys out a little bit. And then replace them with these guys. Oh, those look beautiful. Look at them. <gasps> Absolutely lovely. Just lovely. Give it a little bit more of a wild look with our plants. There we go. That's better. Oh, it's Texas sagebrush, a personal favorite of mine. The agave flowers. Let's see, some itty bitty plants. I think we're going to stick to a few more flowers over here. There we go. And then we're going to switch back to... Where is it? Ooh, look at the blue bush. Yeah, we'll add some blue bush in here. I didn't expect that. Let's see. Ooh, common, common sugar bush. That looks really neat. We'll add in a couple of those real fast. And then just a few of these. And then we will add our little meerkats in. I'm so excited. They're so cute. I love meerkats. And I think that this will be a great exhibit for them. And it will be very educational for all of the kids who are coming to play at the little playground. And it opens up this whole area so we can add more, more creatures over here. I'm thinking actually rhinos over here. And then we can extend the Jeep tour. What do you think, in turn? I'm thinking, I'm thinking rhinos. Meanwhile, Joan is going to give birth. Oh my gosh, and Justice is pregnant. And it's time to release our meerkats. All right, there's meerkat number one. He is out and about in his exhibit now. Here's meerkat number two. Out and about. Well, that was meerkat number four. Here's meerkat number two for real now. And then let us snag meerkat number three. There we go. All right, in turn. I'm so excited. And then let's add a gate before I forget again. Because <laughs> it's very important to let our zookeepers have a way to get in and out and help us take care of our amazing animals. And Joan has just given birth to a new warthog baby. Oh my gosh, and check out the meerkats. They're eating from their amazing- oh my gosh, and meerkats. Meerkats, meerkats, meerkats! I love meerkats! They're just so cute, and look at them! Look at them eat from the termite mound! Oh, intern, that is just too amazing. I love this termite mound. This is like the best thing ever. Look at that! This is just the best thing in the world! They can just eat all the insects that they want. They can eat to their heart content- their little heart's content, their itty bitty little heart's content. These guys weigh less than two pounds. Do you know that, intern? Now you do! Now you do! If you picked them up, they would like weigh less than my cat. My cat is like the size of at least five of these meerkats. He is a heavy cat. But there we go. Looks like they're figuring out how to drink from the water just fine. Exploring around. What a beautiful exhibit! I love the way they've got all of their little burrows and everything lined up. I just hope they can like get into all of them okay. And there we go. Oh, wonderful. Well, we're going to have to, what? Escape from its exhibit? No, 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 no. I think it swam out. Can they swim out from under the fencing? Why don't we get alerts when our lemurs escape from their exhibit? Oh, well, we'll have to keep an eye on everything in turn. Ah, it's time to go home now, but I'll see you bright and early in the morning. We'll spend a little bit more time admiring our meerkats, setting up this part of the zoo, seeing if we can entice more people over to visit our awesome new animals, and then we'll make sure that we take care of the animals that we have, because I'm seeing some concerning notices about some of these guys. And then we'll pop back over here, and maybe we'll add in some rhinos and ostriches. That's who I'm thinking might be up next in turn, so I'm pretty excited to see them, and I will see you tomorrow bright and early. Bye-bye!